Hi everyone, it's author Sandra Wilson in the Kindness Kangaroo Library and it's time for another story time session. Today we're featuring the book Courageous Caterpillar written by me and a group of wonderful children who sat and discussed ideas with me about facing your fears. We talked about things we were afraid of, things we can do to help us face some of these fears, and all those ideas were incorporated into the story. Then this great group of kids drew pictures to finish the book with their illustrations. This is something I call the Kindness Kangaroo Project, and there's a number of books I've written um, with the help of kids, um, either in classrooms or in uh, other groups, uh, guiding units, preschool groups, daycare centers, all those kinds of things. Uh, it's a great project. I have a lot more books to create with these kids. Um, so, and there's a lot more on the, in the Candace Kangaroo Library, so make sure you check those out as well. Uh, because I use all the drawings from all the kids, uh, sometimes the story ends, but there's still lots of drawings left. So I'm gonna make sure that I show you all the drawings of these kids because I think that makes the best, the book as special as it really is. So join me now, we're going to read Courageous Caterpillar. We're going to start by showing you the first picture there by Nevin, who was four, um, which isn't a part of a uh, part of the story page, but it's still a lovely picture. So I wanted to make sure you saw it. OK, are you ready? Here we go. Courageous Caterpillar had to go in the woods, but she did not know if she could. She was afraid of the dark, you see, and all the scary creatures there might be. She armed herself with lots of light to help make the darkness more bright. Flashlights, lanterns, and even a torch. She also turned the, um, the light on her porch. She carried a pack filled with all she might need in order for this journey to succeed. She took a deep breath to calm her shaky knees, and then she set off into the trees. The darkness didn't seem so bad because of all the lights she had, so she walked a little further in, but then the hair stood up on her skin. What was that sound she just heard? Was it an animal? Was it a bird? Maybe a monster wanting to take a bite. Oh, that sound gave her such a fright. But then she remembered what she had on her back. Was there something she had put in her pack? Yes, earmuffs she had put inside there in case there were noises that gave her a scare. She's put her earmuffs on. With earmuffs on, the sounds weren't loud anymore, so Courageous could continue to explore. The woods actually seemed like a nice place to be with all the pretty nature she could see. Then she saw a shadow out of the corner of her eye, but she couldn't tell what it was, no matter how hard she tried. It might be big, it might be small, she really couldn't tell at all. She felt nervous and a bit scared. She didn't want something to catch her unaware. So she made herself big with arms up high and she made a loud noise like a screeching cry. Whatever it was now scurried away to fight a monster. Be a monster is all I can say. She felt pretty good as she reached the spot. She had fought back the fears these woods had brought and now what she must do didn't seem so tough. She had gained some courage and she had enough. Courageous climbed so high the plant started to sway. Then she hung down in the shape of a letter J. A chrysalis around her soon would form because for a caterpillar this was the norm. But Courageous had been afraid of the change. It sounded painful and a little strange. But now she knows it is for the best and she hung silently without any stress. Before too long, a butterfly emerged. She dried her wings and then she surged into the woods. She flew all around and then she gently landed on the ground. A small caterpillar was shaking with fear as Courageous flew a little too near. Her pack she shared with the little bug as she also gave him a friendly hug. 
courageous, who had conquered so many fears, now looked at the little caterpillar whose eyes held tears. And now her journey had come to an end. She wasn't afraid to be his friend. Oops, sorry, I forgot to show you the picture. And that's the end of the story. But like I said, we use all the pictures. So sometimes, even though the story is over, we like to go through the rest of the book and see all the lovely drawings the kids have offered us. So the last one there on the back of the book. So there you have the story of Courageous Caterpillar. And you can find out in the story that some of the things we talked about as a group about facing our fears was one, to be prepared. So that's why Courageous packed a bag with things that she thought she might need while she was on her journey. Um, and things that when you're prepared, things aren't quite so scary. So that could mean reading, uh, you know, about what you're going to do. Um, like if you're going on um, a boat maybe for the first time, you can read about, you know, what good things help that. Um, be prepared could mean, you know, having the things you need in case something happens like earmuffs or flashlights, uh, things like that. And so when you're feeling prepared, you're not feeling quite as scared. One of the other things we talked about, and it was kind of fun talking about it, was when you're faced with something scary, like the shadows, and you're not quite sure, you make yourself big and scary, and that would scare other things away. So we talk about in the woods, if, you, you know, there's a wild animal, often they get pretty scared easily if you shout or make some noise or make, so we had so much fun making ourselves big and scary, so I encourage you to try that. It's always good to practice. So practice making yourself big and scary you know, scare away uh, the fears or the shadows and things that might uh, um, might be causing a little bit of fear. Uh, so as you see, it's a journey, but being prepared and knowing some skip things like being, you know, bigger and scarier than what might be scaring you can help you get through those fears. So if you're having, you know, a little bit of nervousness about maybe going to school the first time or an appointment or a trip or anything like that, just start with some of the simple ways of one, being prepared, two, having some tools that you can use to help you, like if scaring things away by making yourself big. Also, Courageous Caterpillar took some deep breaths to calm herself um, before she moved ahead. Um, and also, finding a friend. Those are all great things to help you face your fear. So, that would be a conversation you can start today. What kinds of things make you scared? What things are you afraid of? And what tools and preparations can you make if you have to face that to help make that not such a scary experience? All right, everybody, thank you for joining me in the Kindness Kangaroo Library for Courageous Caterpillar. You can find this book in the, kind, in the Quite a Character bookstore or on Amazon. And I hope you join us next time for another Storytime session. Bye.